Hello and welcome to this fifth set of problems on complex numbers. In this set, we will solve problem number 41 to 50. So, as I always say that when I am setting the problem, you should pause the video and if and try to solve the problem yourself. If you cannot solve the problem yourself, only then look at the solution. Problem 41 says that simplify i to the power 17 plus 1 by i to the power 15 whole to the power 3 in the form of a plus ib. So what we do is we expand this like a plus b whole cube which is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So i to the power 17 to the power 3 is i to the power 51, 17 is 51. And the second term is 3 into i to the power 34 by i to the power 15. The third term would be 3 i to the power 17 into 1 by i to the power 30 because now this is squared plus 1 by i to the power 45 because i to the power 15 to the power 3 is 45. So this becomes 51, this becomes 19, this is 13, and this is 45. Now we take out multiples of 4. So 48 plus 3 is 51 and 48 is multiple of 4. So the first term is i cube. Then 19 is 16 plus 3. So second term is 3 into i cube. And i 12 from the third term. So it is 3 into 1 by i. And 44 from the fourth term. So it is 1 by i. So this becomes uh, minus i minus 3i minus 3i minus i. Which is uh, when added becomes minus 8i. Problem 42 says that simplify 1 plus i whole square by 2 plus 3i in the form of a plus ib. So we expand the whole square, it, be, it becomes 1 plus i square plus 2i. Now i square is minus 1, so it will get cancelled with plus 1. So the number is 2i by 2 plus 3i. So we multiply this with complex conjugate and divide with complex conjugate of denominator. So the numerator now becomes 6 minus 4i and denominator would be 2 square plus 3 square which is 13. So the final result is 1 by 13 into 6 minus 4i. Problem 43 says that simplify 1 by 1 plus i plus 1 by 1 minus i into 7 plus 8i by 7 minus 8i in the form a plus ib. So here you observe that 1 by 1 plus i plus 1 by 1 minus i is equal to 1. You take LCM, it becomes 1 minus i plus 1 plus i by 1 minus i square. So i will get cancelled here, 1 plus 1 is 2 and i square is minus 1. So minus and minus of 1 is 1. 1 and 1 becomes 2. So this whole thing is 1. Now that means our given expression becomes 7 plus 8i by 7 minus 8i. We again multiply and divide with the complex conjugate of denominator. That is 7 plus 8i here and 7 plus 8i here. You multiply this, you will end up getting uh, 49 minus 64 because 8 into 8 is 64 and i square is minus plus 780 56 and 780 56 twice for this 7 into i and this 7 into i. That gives you 112i and denominator is 7 square plus 8 square that is 49 plus 64 which is 113. So final value is minus 15 plus 112i by 113. Problem 44 says that simplify 1 plus i to the power 4n plus 7 divided by 1 minus i to the power 4n minus 1 in the form a plus ib. So we first evaluate 1 plus i by 1 minus i. So like previous problems, we multiply and divide with complex conjugate of denominator. So as you can see, it becomes i. So this whole thing, what we do is we take out 4n minus 1 power from the numerator. So what we will have is 1 plus i to the power 8 here. And this is 4n minus 1, this is 4n minus 1. Now we have found that 1 plus i by 1 minus i is equal to i. So this whole thing becomes i to the power 4n minus 1. And then 1 plus i whole square we have computed, which is 1 plus i square plus 2i. So power has become 4 here. 
and 1 and i square will get cancelled so now this is 1 by i because i to the power 4n is 1 so this is 1 by i and this becomes 2 to the power 4 that is 16 i to the power 4 now this will become i cube when cancelled and then we will have minus 16 i as the final value Problem 45 says that simplify 1 by 1 minus cos theta plus i sin theta in the form of a plus i b. So we multiply and divide with complex conjugate here which is 1 minus cos theta minus i sin theta. So numerator will be that and denominator will become 1 minus cos theta whole square plus sin square theta. So what will happen is it, this will give 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta. So cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 which will get added to 1 which will become 2. So, denominator is 2 minus 2 cos theta. Now, if you look at numerator, 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. And sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. And denominator would be 2 into 2 sin square theta by 2. For this, you have to study trigonometry. And if you have not studied yet, you can come back to the problem later on. Now, once we have that, this term, the first term will get cancelled and the result will be 1 by 2 and the second term sin theta will get cancelled, one power will be removed from denominator and then it will become cot theta by 2. So this is i by 2 cot theta by 2. Problem 46 says simplify cos x plus i sin x into cos y plus i sin y divided by cot u plus i multiplied with i plus tan u in the form of a plus i b. So, the given fraction which we have, we multiply the numerator and we write cos x into cos y minus, uh, there should not be i, this i, oh no, there will be i, minus, no, there won't be i, hang on, i sin y, no, there won't be i, this i is a typo, cos x cos y minus sin x sin y plus i sin x cos y plus cos x sin y, and uh, we represent cot u by cos u by sin u and tan v by sin v by cos v. So denominator becomes cos v plus i sin u into sin v plus i cos v by sin u cos v. So this is cos in cos of x plus y and this is sin of x plus y. That's what we have written. This sin u cos v has come to numerator and this term when you multiply you will find that this is equal to sin of v minus u plus i cos of v minus u. So once we have that we multiply and divide with the complex conjugate of a denominator and we finally arrive at this value. So for understanding this you will need to know trigonometry. So once you simplify this you get this value. Problem 47 says that show that for Z in complex number set mod of Z is equal to 0 if and only if Z is equal to 0. So if mod of Z is equal to 0 then square root of X square plus Y square is equal to 0 where X plus I Y is equal to Z. So we square we get X square plus Y square is equal to 0. Now this is possible only if X and Y both are 0 which implies Z is equal to 0. Problem 48 says that if Z1 and Z2 are 1 minus i and 2 plus 7i, then find imaginary of Z1, Z2 divided by Z1 bar. So here we have computed Z1, Z2 by Z1 bar. We get 1 minus i into 2 plus 7i by 1 plus i. So you multiply the two complex numbers in the numerator, you get 9 plus 5i and denominator is 1 plus i. Like previous problems, we multiply with the complex conjugate of a denominator that is 1 minus i and we finally get 7 minus 2i as the result. So once we have the value of this, we know that the imaginary part is equal to minus 2. Problem 49 says that find x and y if 1 plus i into x minus 2i by 3 plus i plus 2 minus 3i plus i and there should be a y here. 2 minus 3i y plus i divided by 3 minus i is equal to i. So we take the LCM here. Uh, first we rewrite this whole thing. We take bring the real part x here and then we write i into x minus 2. And this term we write as 2y plus i into 1 minus 3y divided by 3 minus i. 
then we take LCM 3 minus I will be multiplied with this and 3 plus I will be multiplied with this. So we will have 3x plus x minus 2 plus I into 3 into x minus 2 minus x plus 6y plus 3y minus 1 plus I into 3 minus 9y plus 2y is equal to 10i. This 10 has come from multiplication of the denominators 3 minus i into 3 plus i is 9 square plus 1 which is 10. Now we compare real and imaginary parts and, and simplify you get 4x minus 2 plus 9y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 2x minus 6 plus 3 minus 7y is equal to 10. So once you solve these two linear equations you get y is minus 1 and x is 3. Now, problem 50 says that if z minus i mod of z minus i is less than 1, then prove that mod of z plus 12 minus 6i less than 14. So, we know that uh, mod of z1 plus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2. So, we have written this as sum of two complex numbers mod that is z minus i and 12 minus 5i. Note that if you add these two, you get z plus 12 minus 6i. Now this we know is less than 1. So we have used the less than signature here and put 1 here. Now mod of 12 minus 5i is 13 which is now you add 13 plus 1 you get 14. So modulus of z plus 12 minus 6i is less than 14. With this we come to the end of our fifth set of problems on complex number. In the next video we will solve a sixth set and uh, if you have found this video useful and informative please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that it can uh, reach many more people because that's how youtube algorithm works and more students like you can benefit from this video and if you have a question or a comment or if you want to, to say something please use the comment box for that uh, see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching enjoy